something really strange here inside the liquid line it's got a bunch of crap see that powder that's where I scraped it you know when I was cutting the pipe open and uh, that powder is pretty thick now this unit was having a restriction on the expansion valve and uh, it's a new owner to the house so we can't tell what happened you know previously that they put stop leak in there or what but uh, it's like a gray powder let me get uh, get something here scrape it I can show you so I changed the expansion valve and it just scrapes off and I'm gonna go ahead and change the filter dryer inside the unit I'm putting on a new filter dryer like this doesn't look too good to me you know that stuff's just coating inside the pipe you know that can't be good so the entire run on the liquid line pull that uh, suction line wasn't that bad it's funny it wasn't in the suction line and look inside the pipe there and that's what I would expect you know relatively clean that's just junk for me interesting doesn't have an odor well got the refrigerant oil smell but it's weird it's like a dry stuff the units uh, 10 years old the train and this is r410a very weird okay so it turns out that gray junk inside the liquid line just stopped up the expansion valve because when I change the expansion valve we got some great pressures here so we see on our low side we got 125 we see on our high side we got 96 degrees for our 410a and 81 so we're running about 15 degrees we got about 15 degrees subcooling. We got 300 pounds on the high side, and uh, everything's great. Uh, before I was running about 40 on the low side. That expansion valve's clogged up. I'll show you the expansion valve though. It's fine now because once I unsoldered it, that gray junk just melted in it. And uh, but I changed out the valve anyway. So we just got to figure out what the heck's that gray junk in the pipe. So here's the TXV that was stopped up and had a little strainer in it. I took the strainer out though. Actually, on this one, you can look and see the strainer. Doesn't look stopped up, but it has all that black junk. I think that gray stuff turned to black stuff when it was heated up by the torch. And uh, one thing on this system they did have a leak on their line on the line set I changed out the line set and I have a strong suspicion somebody put stop leak uh, in this unit when they put in a new unit and it was leaking 410a and they couldn't figure out where it was leaking and uh, because you know this pipe is just coated I mean it looks like a water pipe you know just coated with a uh, you know, gray looking particle stuff. Those are scratches when I cut it open. And uh, so I'm gonna ask people what they think that gray stuff is, if they see it, you know, from stop leak. And, uh, or could it just be the oil breaking down? Uh, it'd be a polyester oil because it's R410 system. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs>